Today I will tell you about five things that can easily ruin your Bali trip and these are real things that happened to me and my friends many times so stay tuned and also I will tell you exactly how to avoid all these things from happening. I have traveled to Bali a few times with my friends and now lived here almost two years and this first thing is something that has happened to me pretty much every time I'm in Bali and also my friends pretty much every single one got it when they came to Bali at least once. So the first thing is food poisoning aka Bali belly is very common you can get it anywhere you can get it from the food you can get it from the tap water so it's really hard to avoid but we will take the scooter now and show you a few tips how you can maybe avoid it completely Bali Bali can be really nasty and take even a few weeks to get over with. I would recommend for the first thing when you are to Bali is come here to Kimia Pharma to buy this uh, probiotics. This has been the best for me that really helps to not get Bali Belly and also just keeps your stomach more strong. We came to Shady Shack for lunch and the thing is that in Bali there's so many restaurants, there's so much nice food, nice fresh bowls and salads but you kind of should avoid many of these foods because you can get Bali Belly so easily and kind of stick with the cooked foods. But of course if you have the stomach pills and your stomach is strong, maybe you don't get anything even if you eat all kinds of food so it's your risk to take. It's kind of about luck. Sometimes you get something, sometimes you don't. Also be very careful when you're brushing your teeth with the tap water because you can get Bali Belly even from that. You can also use bottled water if you want to be super safe. And all the pharmacies here, they sell this charcoal that can be also very useful if you get any bad bacteria stuck in your stomach. The food is here, looks amazing and quite affordable even if Shady Shack is not the most affordable place. And the second thing that can really ruin your Bali trip is animals. It's really good to have some mosquito spray always with you because it's the most probable thing that can go wrong with animals in Bali and you can get dengue or chikumunya as I did some time ago and it was terrible, you get terrible rash and fever and it's kind of dangerous diseases you can get from the mosquitoes and you're a lot outside, you eat outside but yeah, it's not very probable that you get this disease if your body is strong and if you take care of putting mosquito spray and The second most probable thing with animals can be dog bites and monkey bites so be careful with street dogs if you don't know how to read dogs, don't go close. The street dogs here are the best, but also they can be sometimes aggressive and they can even bite easily. Same with monkeys, they can be really unpredictable, so don't look into their eyes. And of course there's also snakes, especially if you are in Ubud area, be careful. I have personally seen one cobra in Ubud when I was living in this uh, like a jungle resort, so yeah, be careful with those also. But that's all the things with animals. The third thing that will really ruin your trip, and I have seen this happening too many times for my friends, it's scooter accidents. Even in the more quiet areas, the roads are sometimes kind of crazy. There's so many things that can go wrong when you're driving. There's so many scooters, so many cars, not a lot of space. And also sometimes there's just sand in the road, there's trucks, there's so many things, dogs everywhere. So there's, you, you can't be too confident. There's so many things that can happen. And, and always wear helmet just in case. And in case of accident, it's good to know where to go. And I would recommend Silo and Medica Chan is a little bit more legit the clinic and the local clinics here in Changu that are more like emergency rooms. And the fourth thing that can really go wrong in Bali is with the ocean. It's kind of restless here, it's good for surfing but not so much for swimming. There's some beaches that are good for swimming but be careful, there's strong currents, strong waves, sometimes they come unexpectedly. Even in Changu the ocean is kind of crazy sometimes but also in Uluwatu and especially in Nusa Peni, the Klinkin beach and those beaches, it's crazy strong currents so it's really dangerous. There's many people who get a lot of trouble there every year. Year. And also in the water there's often rocks that are unexpected locations and reef and there can also be sea urchins so be careful and only swim in the spots where other people swim and also that's not always a trustworthy indication if it's safe. We order chia pudding from Dope, it's nice, they still do free delivery and it's so good and big and healthy yums but yeah before i talk about the fifth thing that can go wrong with your bali trip i just want to quickly mention that bali is kind of a difficult place to travel there's so many mistakes that you can make there's so many things that are difficult like where to stay what area to stay what are the best places how to avoid the traffic and that's why i created the bali life guide to give you information about everything you need to know about bali to make sure you have the best possible trip avoid all the mistakes and save money so check that out the link is in the description and you can get now limited time 20 percent off using the code youtube 20 
everything. But yeah, the fifth thing you need to be cautious of is bad people. I have to say 99.9% .9 of the people in Bali, especially the locals here, they're the nicest people ever and they never wanna anything bad for you. But also, unfortunately, I have heard so many bad stories during these two years of living here. One thing that happened quite often to people that they're having their phone when they're driving scooter or they're just walking on the road and having their phone really visible. I would avoid that always because there has been some people who drive around and find people who are holding their phone and steal the phone. There's people who just steal things from girls who are driving alone at night. But this kind of thing doesn't happen too often. It's mostly just people scamming with scooters or accommodation. The prices are much more than they're supposed to be. So make sure that you know what kind of prices you're supposed to get here now. And one tip is to follow Changu community on Instagram. They often post about different scams and how people are stealing something specific so you can know a little bit what's going on. But yeah, this doesn't happen too often so you don't need to be too scared of it. It's kind of rare. Like and subscribe guys and feel free to watch this video about my whole experience of moving to Bali and living here and see you next week in the next video. Bye.